this your first competition here? No, I was my first solo though. Then a couple in a tandem. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you've done two in a tandem? Mm hmm. Okay. So, what, what's attracted to you to this race, being that you've done it? This is your third time. Uh, well, kayaking, just well, like uh, marathon type kayaking, I like it's a challenge. And this race is uh, the longest non stop in the world, at least it was, uh, you know, recently, as far as. Uh, so, uh, the challenge is, is uh, hard to pass up. Okay. In terms of the preparation and that stuff, uh, how does it compare to getting ready for a baseball game and uh, getting ready for this? Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, uh, there's workouts and, and uh, lots of paddling, but, um, you know, I, I don't do this professionally. Baseball was a total commitment, and this is, uh, I kind of... Um, it's half hobby, half competition. It's, it's not full commitment. So, uh, but still, there's a lot of a uh, lot of hours spent uh, in the seat, so to speak, and and uh, been uh, getting better at it as uh, time goes on. And in terms of, I know that they had to delay the race, and they're now being able to do this. How has that affected you? Uh, hopefully it made me faster. <laughs> I got, you know, more practice in and more boat experience, but uh, the river was awfully fast, though, uh, before, which would have been kind of nice. I don't know how fast it's going to be today, but uh, we'll see. Hopefully it's still running pretty good. And what do you think about the weather? Oh, my gosh, can't beat it. This is uh, amazing. Uh, I was out here uh, the year that we had 107 degrees, and so, you know, that was miserable. This is wonderful.